Do you know about energy? Yes. Do you practicing energy conservation? Mm, I think so. Can you give one example? is energy what is energy energy is usable power that comes from heat electricity or many more sources energy is also known as a capacity of a physical system to perform work energy exists in several forms such as heat kinetic energy light potential energy electrical or other forms Energy are divided into two categories, which are renewable energy, non-renewable energy. Renewable energy. Renewable energy is generally defined as energy that comes from resources which are naturally replenished on human time scale, such as sunlight, wind, rain, wave, and geothermal heat. A non-renewable energy A non-renewable energy, also called a finite resource, is a resource that does not renew itself at a sufficient rate for sustainable economic extraction in meaningful human time frames. The example of non-renewable energy is fossil fuel, coal, nuclear, and many more. Why do we need to conserve the energy? The answer is simple because nowadays energy deficiency is one of the most important issues in worldwide. Besides, much common pollution generated from non-renewable energy sources such as fossil fuel and so on. This type of energy mostly non-green energy and also can bring harmful effects towards the environment. So, to reduce effects on non-green energy and to overcome energy deficiency issues, we need to conserve energy. So, let's see what people think about energy conservation. Do you practice energy saving in your daily life? Yes. Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Um, no. Do you turn off lights when you leave a room? Uh, yes. 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 Mm, uh, no. Do you turn on the washing machine when it's not full? No. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. Uh, no, because I have never have a washing machine. Do you have energy efficient appliances? Uh, of course, yes. For example, I use uh, air conditioner or hand fan. Yes. Cone. Washing machine. Uh, yes. Such as refrigerator and air conditioner. Yes, I, I've got one in my house, such as um, television. Uh, yes, eh? such as air conditioning. No, I never have a air conditioning, washing machine and so on. Do you think that energy is important to you and why? I think uh, it, it is important because uh, it support on reducing on global warming issues. Uh, I think it's uh, most important because uh, it can reduce uh, our uh, living cost. Yes, because uh, it saves money and then to reduce uh, greenhouse gases emission. Yes, of course, energy saving is, is important to us because I think uh, when we uh, practice energy saving, uh, we can avoid uh, pollution and we can reduce electric consumption. Yes, of course. Uh, actually, Malaysia relies on non-renewable sources of energy such as fossil, coal, oil, natural gases as our energy sources, which unfortunately were depleted or becoming too expensive or too environmentally damaging in the near future. And also reduce carbon footprint and cost in long term. No, because uh, mostly uh, I never pay the electric bill. Can you give one tips on energy saving? I can give more than one. Uh, buy only clean appliances, switch off light, turn off appliances, shut down your computer when you're not using it, spread the awareness of uh, 
and you're just serving to the community. Uh, switch off light after you use it, turn off uh, any electrical appliance after you use it. I personally think that uh, we should uh, switch off all the lights, and especially when uh, we're not in use. Placing an incandescent uh, lamp with a compact fluorescent lamp. For example, uh, maybe we try to design a building uh, by using green technology or using energy efficiency such as a natural energy. Never use an electric appliance. So, from the interview session, most of respondents show awareness towards energy conservation. What is energy conservation? Energy conservation refers to reducing energy consumption through using less of energy service. Due to issue and energy deficiency, people start to open their eyes to conserve the energy. Energy efficient appliances may help to conserve energy. By applying several tips on energy saving, people may save a lot of energy usage. Energy efficient appliances may help to conserve energy and saving consumers money on their energy bills. Wash only full loads of clothes. Do not just wash a pair of pants or a few pieces of shirt. Collect all your clothes and wash with full load. Full load washing machine will use the same electrical capacity by half loaded wash and if possible, avoid using the hot wash cycle to reduce electricity usage. Dry your clothes using sunlight. Dry your clothes using sunlight can save your money. This is so obvious. Dryers use up a lot of electricity. The sun provides UV light and UV can be used to disinfect water and damp laundry. Dry your clothes using sunlight also make your clothes last longer when it is dry naturally. Turning off your tap while brushing your teeth. Educate your children to turn off the tap while they brushing their teeth in the morning and before bedtime. Change your way by using a cup to fill the water needed to brush your teeth. By practicing these tips, you can save up to 8 gallons of water. For your information, all water company uses energy to purify and pump water to your facility as well as in the treatment of your sewage. So, part of your water and sewage bill is really an energy bill. In other words, serving water reduce your water and energy bills. Ironing clothes in large quantities. Electric iron consume large electricity when heating. Heating the iron requires electrical and electronic waste will occur each time the iron is used to iron some clothes. To reduce the energy usage, Collect and iron your clothes in large quantities at a time. Don't forget to turn off your iron when you are finished. Use free sunlight as a source of light you speak using a lamp. What is your opinion about using free sunlight as a source of light instead of lamp? Necessarily, a lot of benefit using free sunlight especially during daylight such as more energy saving and more money saving. Plus, by riding a bike instead of driving can reduce the usage of fossil fuel and also reducing carbon emission that can pollute our lovely earth. Your small efforts might not bring any positive impact to the environment but if a thousand people like you that have a concern and do the same as well as you practicing you will bring a huge impact to conserve the energy to save the environment and lastly will improve your healthy lifestyle